It's that time of year again where we get another wipe and escape from Tarkov. I'm going to help you get the optimal start and get the flea market unlocked as fast as possible. So you can unlock and use the SCAR H, which is the newly added gun, at your own discretion. Now there's an emphasis on this guide to get you to level 20 or 15 as fast as possible. We don't exactly know when the flea market is unlocked. However, we want to get there as quickly as possible. Also, I'm going to try to unlock all of the vendors as quickly as possible as this allows you to have more opportunity to do daily quests. I think you should do daily quests as soon as they are available as having XP is better than missing out on the opportunity to max maximize your XP. One last thing to note is I would prioritize surviving over anything in every single raid instance. Can I get a quest done? Yes. Could I die? Maybe. Would I rather survive than get a quest done? Yes. Prioritize survivability at all costs. It's more important to get part of a quest done than a quest completed and then not be able to extract from raid. Don't get too greedy out there. Other things to note are the EFT wiki has some great sources of information such as the guide of what items you want to find in raid on what items do you need for certain quests so i'd prioritize looking at that links will be down below in the description one last thing to note there's a handy dandy little flow chart thing that allows you to see what quests are locked behind other quests and what you have to do for example shootout picnic does not have any quests following it and it is just kill scavs on woods it's not a quest that you need to go out of your way to complete quickly as it does not lock any other quests quest so keep that in mind as you are leveling with the introductions out of the way i'm going to help you here with telling you what you should do once you've picked bear because it's the best and you've gone into your stash sorted it out cleaned it up as much as you want you should start inspecting items and the goal of this is to get to level two so you can pick up the gunsmith part one quest from mechanic the reason we do this is as soon as you pick up this quest the quest introduction which unlocks jaeger is unlocked this is something i would do sooner rather than later because more vendors available is a good thing as now you have the opportunity to get more daily tasks in the future. I would try to do your dailies and weeklies as soon as possible because the XP sooner on is probably more beneficial than trying to optimize the XP by waiting till you're a higher level. Though is also giving rep, it's a great way to help you level up your vendor but moving on i would suggest going to woods in one of your first raids so you can unlock jaeger and get the quest acquaintance done while you're on woods unlocking jaeger this would be a good opportunity to go get some lunch boxes and croutons which can be found on the map in the back area by the car spawn in this little village area this is some of the best places i found for croutons and for lunch boxes and there's lots of good food spawns here so if you need food early on and wipe this is a good place to go other places you might want to think about going early are interchange because you're going to need some elite players and the back of goshen has lots of food spawns especially the tashanka which is the big you know meaty beef stew which you're going to need Jaeger. Now a lot of people are going on the customs and that is something you can do but you know with a lot of traffic going on customs I may suggest going to interchange while you're picking up some of your items for gunsmith test. You can also look for gas analyzers which spawn a lot of times on the areas in interchange and in stashes and I think it's generally a less contested map early on in wipe. Now once you've done the quest debut for Prapper, which is you know just hand in the two shotguns, which if you unlock Jaeger you can buy straight from Jaeger and kill five scavs on customs. This opens up the majority of the Prapper quest line which you can use to pull you forward to get to about level five. That's the goal here. The reason we want to do this is because we want to get Skier up as soon as possible because he unlocks Peacekeeper. Why do we want Peacekeeper unlocked? You guessed it. Peacekeeper is probably selling the scar so we want to get the scar as fast as possible so we are going to focus on supplier extortion then what's on the flash drive and then go on the golden swag friend from the west part one and part two once we have part two done you have skier unlocked but the most important part of all of this is the flash drives now this is the hardest part 
you know, the per the first two quests from Skier are pretty easily. Find a Taz on 3N armor and raid, you know, just kill scabs until you find the stuff. Once you have the stuff, prioritize out. But the raids, you gotta find two of them in raid, which can be kind of hard. My suggestion to you is safes in the back of PC. Now, safes can be pretty hard to come by early on and wipe if you don't have a lot of keys. However, if you do get keys to safes, I suggest dorms because it's not going to be super contested at this time if you get keys and searching as many jackets as possible to get these keys. But when you have the opportunity to go in and find flash drives and safes, flash drives and safes is probably the go-to method I found early on in a wipe. The rest of the quests from Ski are pretty simple. A couple key items to note that you might want to keep for your hideout because it makes your life easier, especially if you're having trouble finding Salelas and Wade. Raid. Wade, we're finding Salelas and Wade is a syringe and a back of meds. Now, a lot of quests are on customs, so while you're in customs, you can go to this crack house area or in the top of new construction area in the crates there's a lot of med spawns this is where i would find these they don't have to be found in raid so make sure you just put them in your gamma container and make sure you extract with them or if you die make sure they're just in your gamma so you have them out to be able to build you know med station part one where you'll be able to craft your sailor was pretty simple enough another thing you're gonna have to find is a spark plug very early on in wipe this is definitely a uh, buttable item as i will say and you can find these in filing cabinets and in also these crates around customs and interchange if you're looking around just toolboxes on shelves in a lot of the areas on interchange so if you find a spark plug this is a very high priority item make sure you get out of raid with that toothpaste soap and toilet paper this allows you to a laboratory which also is very helpful for crafting some of the found in raid items early on but then from there you basically have a good groundwork of making progress towards all the quests that you want to get started on i can't stress this enough that surviving is probably the most important thing you can be trying to do in escape from tarkov and especially early on in wipe and punishing when you don't necessarily have the ability to have a giant bankroll and you know, go in and out of raid quickly. There's going to be a lot of times where you might have to just run scav gear. Use your scavs as opportunity to find some of these found in raid items. I would scav almost every other raid as often as possible with this scav, especially looking for some of these items on your PMC. Oh, you don't want to go to a high contested area to go find a gas analyzer or an interchange? On your scav, now is your opportunity to go look. Even if you can't get a quest done, but you found a gas analyzer, even if you don't have the quest unlocked that is still a win once you get to about the level 10 area the idea of there's an optimal path of quests you should be doing kind of goes out the window basically make sure you try to stack up as much as quests in one area as possible if you have four quests on woods go to woods if you have four on interchange go to interchange if you have four on customs go to custom customs is going to be the most contested one if you have no idea what you should do and you only have one quest on one area i would prioritize spear until you get friend to the west part two done this is probably like the most important thing you can do is get peacekeeper unlocked and then having jaeger unlocked just having more vendors available as often and as early as possible to get those daily quests out i think is going to be the most beneficial thing or anyone who's playing wipe early on. Now that's all I have for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It goes for anybody. If you find anyone's content useful, subscribe and like their videos and their channel because it does help them out a great deal. But as always, I hope you have a great day. It's that time of year again where we get another wipe and escape from Tarkov. And I'm gonna help you get the optimal start to progress you through the and get on um, the that time of year again and escape from Tarkov where we get another wipe. I'm gonna help you get an optimal spark. What is wrong with me? Hello? Is there what's wrong with me? Okay. <laughs>